you guys, and welcome to Lawrence Plays, another episode of Manhunt, this time with roles reversed. Uh, ordinarily I'm the controller, and ordinarily Lawrence is the, uh, the the prey, or the fugitive, depending on uh, which word you prefer to use to describe it. But this time it's the other way around. Uh, so, both of us are in, well, yes, our, our <laughs> opposite roles from usual, so uh, let's see what happens. Um, are allowing single shot weapons only, uh, whilst in vehicles for the hunters. Although if they get out of their vehicles, I believe that we're now allowing them to use automatic weapons that should allow them to do other things like setting up ambushes and so on. Uh, whether they do that or not, we shall see. It's remarkably difficult as the controller to coordinate a ambush. You've got to work out where the prey is going, you've got to work out when they're likely to be there, you've got to bring enough hunters in front to make it worthwhile. And then the prey's actually got to go there. Uh, my experience is usually what ends up happening is that the hunters get to the area, you say, okay, follow roadblock, and they go, what? At uh, which point the prey then goes a different direction, you go, never mind, continue the chase. So, um, here we go, yes. Uh, yes, obviously, only bullet weapons is the other thing there, it's, uh, so they can't use homing rocket launchers. Uh, that wouldn't be very enjoyable for anyone. Unless you like that kind of thing, of course. Still, uh, okay, the other rule that we have is that it's no personal vehicles, only vehicles which are found on the road. This hot pink coquette, uh, I did genuinely find on the road, although it wasn't hot pink when I got it, I went and had it resprayed. Um, because I could. Uh, by now, the hunters will be out and after me. I believe they started the fairground. Um, and so, yes, they are quite happily pursuing, I'm sure. So let's see what we can do to give them a run for their money. So the first thing I want to do is to try and move a reasonably substantial di distance in their general direction. And what I want them to do is to go different directions. And this will force Lawrence as the controller to have to split his attention between the two hunters, um, giving them their own string of instructions. And there's always the possibility for misinterpretation. Ooh, that wasn't my best corner I've ever done. Um, it will increase the chance that they that they make a wrong turn, that sort of thing, and end up heading off in the wrong direction. Um, so that's the aim here. Later on I'm going to try a bit more... Uh, is that a hunter ahead? No, yeah, it's just a bike. I saw one light and thought it might be a um, hunter with a light out for a crash. Um, yes, later on I'm going to try a lot more going onto and off the highway. Um, going through sort of slight off-road detours, going through car parks and the like. The sort of thing which is, if the hunter can see you, it's very dangerous, but if they can't actually see you, then it's just a nightmare for the controller to try and explain it. And this is, this is all of the usual stuff that Lawrence does when I'm the controller, uh, which I find really, really difficult to deal with. Uh, and so I'm definitely not going to in immensely enjoy turning the tables on him. Uh, I might also try doing something a little bit cheeky and winding up. So down here, I think on the left, there is a loop um, that we can drive around in one big circle. Ah, no, this is onto the highway. That's fine. Let's go on the highway for a bit. Um, so at this point, Lawrence will be calling to the uh, hunters. He's on the highway. He's heading northbound. He's crashed. So I'm going to turn around and go the other way. Uh, I'm going to stay on the highway this time. Um, but what I'm going to do at the next one is come off the highway go across the bridge at the top and then go back onto the highway again in the same direction because that will give him just enough time to instruct the hunters to get off the highway before having to tell, words, having to tell them to try and get back on again uh, I will find that jolly amusing personally uh, so here we go coming off the highway and I'm going to go this way, and then this way, and then hopefully, if I understand the map right, I'm going to go back onto the highway. And then for safety reasons, I'm going to cut back through and go on the correct side. This isn't the highway, is it? Is it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, my map knowledge is not great, he says, as the controller. Ordinarily, I have a giant map in front of me, which I just read, uh, and that I can do. It's a lot harder not having Available. Uh, so again, yeah, I think we are still on my way again. I'm just going to keep going 
slightly concerned that I'm heading into the airport, which only has one way out and is a bit of a trap. So actually, what we're going to do now, it's a hard 180. Um, but I'm sure we'll note the change of direction. He will hopefully think I've crashed, which isn't actually true, but that's fine. And let's go both and back the other way. And hopefully, in a second, we'll see Hunter um, whizzing past on the other side of the road. Uh, or maybe there will be. So let's take the opportunity to just be annoying and go cross country. Uh, which way am I going? I'm going past the final sign ahead, so I'm heading north. I'm in the oil fields right now. Right, okay. Uh, these are very tight and very lots of turns, which is great as long as they don't actually see me. Mm, train line. Do I want to follow the I'm gonna follow the train line. And this is gonna be a dead end, isn't it? It is. Let's not go that way. Let's go this one. This is the bit where I find this is a purely cosmetic bit of train line that doesn't actually go anywhere. Oh well, I'm on the road, that's fine. Okay, and let's get away from here very quickly. That's time enough for Lawrence to bring that... Was that shooting at me? That might be shooting from behind. Is that... It might possibly be a car with only one headlight. Okay. Let's assume, for the sake of argument, that was a hunter. It is. That's a hunter. There's a hunter behind me. Excellent. Right. Oh, he shot a tyre in the first try. That's very, very annoying. And there we are. The flash of gunfire. Oh, and he's got me and it's Matt. Good work, Matt. Why can't you do that when you're hunting for me? <laughs> no, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. We will see what happens next. Take care, guys. Okay, um, he is in over in uh, Vinewood, so in your own time. Carry on. Oh, yeah. Vinewood, Vinewood. That's the right north area, north. just before the hills. So you come out, yeah, you do the, the usual right, left, right, left. So then left there, Matt, and then right, and then left. And then go, 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 go. Lots and lots of go. All of the go. Go, go, go. Exactly. Okay, he's coming sort of vaguely towards you, although he's not on the same road as you at the moment, which is quite nice. So just keep going down that road, that's great. Um, what's he, is he going to go across? Yes, he is. Okay, so when... Um, how about... Let's try and be... Okay, take the next right, um, Matt, and, and Paul as well, actually. Yes, that, that, that right. And then at the end of that block, turn left. And you are now chasing him. One of you... Yeah, actually, no, turn right, take the next right. Let's see if we can manage to cut him off. So I'm going to want you to take the second major left. Probably. That yeah, definitely take that. Uh, take that left. Okay, and then immediately left again. Okay, keep following that. Oh, um, yeah, alright, go that way if you want. Uh, that actually works quite well. Take. No, st stay on that road a little bit further. Where is he? Get. Where's that one come out? Okay. Yeah, keep going. It's, it's good so far. He's probably... What's, okay. This is... Right, turn right, turn right. Actually, stop, turn... One of you turn round and go back the way you came. Uh, pink turn right, white turn round. That's my, uh, turn... Yeah, pink turn right. Okay. This hopefully will be a pincer movement. Okay, keep, yeah, keep, keep going. Uh, Paul, take the next right. Right. Okay, you're, there's obviously some lag in this because you. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, Matt, go le go right now. Okay, oh, and. I just turned speed by. Yep, yeah, that was him. Good. Paul, keep going. Matt, yes, you're following. Yep, yeah, Matt, you're following him. That's good. Paul, when you get to the. Okay, Paul, turn left now. He might be right in front of you. You might be passing him or he might be on a lower level. No, he's obviously on a lower level. Yeah, he's, okay. a, he's in the tunnel. Where do I go? Uh, I don't know where this tunnel goes. Um, 
Is he actually in, is that a railway tunnel then, or is he back on? Oh no, he's probably uh, back on the road. Uh, I'm, uh, Paul, turn head south, which is I believe left. No, sorry, it's 180 degrees from where you're where you're going now. Uh, Matt, so turn right, turn 180 degrees, and then take the next uh, set, set, second left. Okay. Paul, you can you can you turn left there? Oh, too late. Paul, take the next left. Matt, turn left. Okay, he's going down onto the highway. Paul, turn left. Matt, turn, uh, turn, turn left. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do that. Uh, Paul, turn. Um, yeah, I want. I need you to do a 180, 180 degree turn and then turn left on the on the on the freeway. Matt, you're heading the wrong way again. Sorry. Turn t oh, turn around Paul. and go back the other way. Sorry. Okay. He's on the he's on the freeway. You basically just need to both head south. Lots, because he's, he's yeah, it's, it's the motorway. He's getting away from you a bit. Oh, actually, no, it's even better. Paul, keep following that road. Paul, stay on that road. Matt, stay on, uh, stay on the highway. Uh, yep, yep. Go. He's looping around a bit. So, but he's coming back onto the highway again now. But if you both keep going, um, Matt, do you, do you turn, do, do, yeah, or okay, that'll do. Yeah, that's getting you going in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, I realise it's starting to turn a bit too late, so... Yeah, he's getting close to the, um, the where the, to passing the Simeon docks on the freeway. Oh, how do I get okay. Paul onto there? Um, Paul, if you follow the road round to the right, I don't know how to get you to him, but I'm hoping he's going to do this with the tradition... Oh, I know what he's going to do. He's going to try and do that jump off that always winds him up when I do it. If he can get that. Okay, he's stopped and turned round. Um, Paul, slow down because you can't get to him at the moment very easily. Matt, you're gonna, you're gonna, he's gonna, he's just round the corner, heading directly towards you. He's, he's on the other side of the road though. He's, he's with traffic. Oh, he's just jumped off. He's jumped off. Paul, turn around and head back uh, east, just the way you back, the way you came. Um, Matt, can you jump off and follow him? Uh, yeah. Which direction? Uh, north to your right. Uh, yeah. You might. You, he's not far ahead of you. You might even be able to see him. Um, Paul, turn, yeah. turn around to your left a bit. Paul, you're heading in exactly the right direction. Keep going, that's great. Um, as you get to the end of the road, follow it round to the left, and then sort of try and look out to your right. He's playing in the railway yards over there, I think. Um, but he's probably about to come. He's about to pop out in front of you, Paul. He's right in front of you. Yep, I can see him. Um, Matt, turn left as much as you can. We need to get back onto the onto the road to your left. I'm hoping I took his tyres out. Yeah. He's turning left at the end. He's driving slightly erratically but then he always does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like you're both behind him now. That's a hunter, that's a hunter behind him. Yeah, you're both you're both chasing him. I don't think I need to give you any direct directions at this point. <laughs> Excellent, Ooh. well done guys. <laughs> uh, was that uh, a particularly good kill? Uh, you seemed to... That that was that was fun. That was a good shot. <laughs> a very Excellent. lucky well shot, done. but still <laughs> they're the best ones. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that as an insight and some background into the run you just watched. And I think this is a bit short for a video, so let's have another run. This time it's me as the prey. Let's see how I do. Hello and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA 5. Um, GTA 5 Manhunt. Once again I'm playing the, uh, playing the lucky um, prey who's going to get chased all over the city by the hunters. And this time I've managed to pick up an Infernus for myself to use. Uh, this is I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this car. It's nice and quick, but it is a little twitchy sometimes. Uh, that said, it's a lot better than the 9F I was using in the last session. So, um, there's a dead body on the road there. That's odd. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's. I think it's probably going to do me quite well. We'll. Um, we'll see how I. How, how I get on with it though. Where am I now? Okay, I'm over by the. Um, uh, the Maze Bank Arena. So, for anyone who hasn't watched one of these before, the idea of the game is that uh, I'm I as the prey and being chased by the by the hunters. That we've all got our radars turned off, so we can't tell where each other are. It makes it much harder to um, to find anyone. But there is one of the hunters who's playing as the controller, and he's sat up on the uh, in the in a penthouse in the in the casino, um, which is where am I? I'm at the airport, uh, which is sort of off to the um, to the north northeast corner of the city. 
and he's he's using the uh, he's got the map open and he can watch absolutely everybody uh, so he, he can see everybody marked on the map myself and the hunters and the idea of that is that he can then um, guide them to me so rather than rather than them just wandering around completely blind oh that wasn't that was more solid than I was expecting uh, rather than them, them being completely blind they've got the hunt they've got the controller to to guide them where to go and, and to give them a, a chance of a decent chance of finding me and find me they will eventually um, I haven't done this yet I'm going to drive out into the airport and have a bit of a mess around on the uh, on the runways assuming it'll let me in there will it let me in yes it will so this will be a bit a little bit different and a little bit um, hopefully exciting I won't go for one of the aircraft because I kind of feel that's cheating. We have set an, um, a somewhat official uh, ground vehicle, land vehicles only rule because apparently, because if, if somebody starts getting an aircraft or a speedboat or something like that, then it's not going to be very fair. But I think if I drive around on the um, around here a little bit, well, it could go one of two ways. They're either going to have trouble getting in here, and, it, and this is going to be a really good long run, and. Um, and they're going to get struggle to find me as I drive around on the on the runways and things, or they're going to get in here and they're going to trap me, and I'm not going to be able to get back out through the through the entrance. Because as far as I'm aware, there is actually only one way into the airport, or one way in and out of the airport, and that's where I came in. As you see, all the way around here, there's fences. And, yeah, these are solid fences, so I can't go anywhere else other than around inside the airport or back out through the entrance that I came in. And there's one of them, so that probably means I've outstayed my welcome here. However, I am in a ludicrously fast car. Oh, I was in a ludicrously fast car until I got shot. That was, must have been a tyre. Yep, that was a tyre. Okay, this is a bad idea. I have to admit, I was wondering about it when I came in. I think this is going to be my shortest ever run. <laughs> my shortest run recently, anyway. Oh, that's another tyre about to go, I think. Maybe if I lose a tyre on each side, it'll make the car handle a bit more evenly. Oh, that was slippery. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay, that was a rather short run. That was a very bad idea. <laughs> Someone's giving me whip. Okay, so Lawrence is currently in downtown heading south. So please can you all come out of the car park uh, and turn right. Let's do this. That's a change. We never do this. We, we Wait. virtually never do that, this is true. Yeah. Innovating here, uh, are we? And then left, and then right again, you know the drill. Yeah. And then left again. I don't think Exodus knows the drill. <laughs> no, I, I, I had a, um, a bone to pick with that fire hydrant. Okay, and then turn right. He's currently in La Puerta, heading down towards the airport. So if you keep proceeding down this way. Still, he's in this, on the spaghetti junction in La Puerta, heading into the airport. Fantastic. So if I could encourage you gentlemen to keep right um, and then make your own keep right again. And make your way into the airport. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. It's a, it looks a bit different on the map. Yeah. Um, so if you then follow this road round to the left. Now he's got to either take the high road or the low road. We're all so hopefully we'll take the low road and then so right, right there as, fast as, hey. as fast as you can to the end of the road and then can you form a barricade across the road please you he, will to come, me? he will come all of you he will come from your right so form a barricade what here oh, hang on, wait for he's he's going to he's going on to the airport itself it looks like um so he, he is if you look down towards the airport, it's literally the other end of that road. It looks like he's actually going onto the airfield. It's really strange. Okay, let's pursue him then. Let's go go for the airfield. This is actually on the airfield right now. Alright. Um, actually, thinking about it, if you keep on the road and keep following it round, because um, he's going to go off the airfield. Uh, so you pull back the other way, from the opposite direction from where you're currently going. Very nice takeoff. Yep, okay. Uh, so, guys, he's gone round to the right hand side of the airport. Uh, so, yeah, stay on the road, stay on the road. We are definitely not on the road. There is. Um, okay, all keep on there and keep going round to the right. Okay, so Lawrence is now heading on the beach. 
Oh. Um, Out for a tour. On okay. the, I think, on the far side of the airport, it might still be. It's very difficult to see. It's just one big grey block. Ah, yeah, um, it is. Yeah. Yun's and. Who's that? Who's got the bounty on them? Yun's and Matt, you're right on top of it. Uh, so, Paul, you have to go in straight, keep going straight, we'll just guide you on this way. Is Matt Exodus? Matt is Exodus, yes. Yes. Yes, got one of his tires. Good man, so Paul, keep going straight, keep going straight, keep going straight. We cannot. Uh, this is for Paul, and then Paul turn right. Is he... you, you don't know if he's okay, inside Jan's, or outside? Uh, Jan's behind you. He's, he's, he's on, actually on the airfield. So if you go back the way you were... Okay, uh, Paul, yeah. follow this round to the right. Okay, Jan's, you're heading directly towards him. This is difficult because he's off-road. Okay, and Jan's, he should be right in front of you. You should see him now. He's right in front of you. Where about for me, dude? Oh, now you've got him. Excellent. You got him. <laughs> that was oh, fast. You got him. Yep. Oh, nice. Good one. I need to find my way out yeah, of here. Yeah, but these fences are ridiculously strong. Mm. Oh, I know. There is, there is a second way out the end, which you were near, but I don't know where it is exactly. It is. Uh, well, on, the, on the map, it's a yeah, nightmare. Jumps, there's jumps. So, yeah, Paul is just passing Buck. Yeah, that gate isn't opening. Paul is passing Buck. You think so? Yeah. 